this next patient is a movement disorder patient with full body tremors. Not just a head tremor, not just an arm tremor, but arms, legs, and head. It originally started immediately after the extraction of a maxillary right first molar tooth. This patient is now being interviewed by Dr. Stephen Smith. He was referred the patient by Dr. Wesley Shanklin, and Dr. Smith referred the patient to me. Initial consult referred by Dr. Shanklin with a movement disorder, and this has been going on since December of '02. Right. And how's your writing? It's a little shaky. Okay, now, do you want to uh, go over with me the history? Well, I had a tooth extracted in December um, and I had some problems after with my vision. And um, at that time, I had a mild head tremor only when I put my head back. And um, a major infection, too, after that. I had an infection um, in the extraction area after with deteriorated bone and just a lot of pain. And uh, I went and I had surgery on that area. And trouble with my vision. I'm not able to focus um, for an extended amount of time without seeing double vision or blurred vision. You've been to the ophthalmologist? And uh, I had seen an ophthalmologist um, with my with extensive testing. And they felt this was a, a right side number three of a right molar extraction. And uh, I felt as though there might have been some some nerve damage um, with my vision also. Um, my testing was reading out at 2400. Yeah, and my eyes look off. Right, my eyes look cross um, occasionally. Um, right, what's what's the TMJ and then the neck involvement? Um, when I smile or, or, or laugh um, or yawn, my face, um, I have a lot of facial pain. I have pain here in my ear, and um, after the tooth extraction, I had like a bald spot in this area um, where it was really sensitive in the, like the temporal area. And then I had extensive pain down the back of my neck and the base of my skull. And uh, You've been to a number of uh, physicians and a number of uh, dentists. They say TMJ is involved. And uh, Dr. Lim did the cavitation necrosis uh, surgery last October, and that seemed to help the pain. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. That's, I still have the pain in the in the jaw area and the the here, and the the, uh, the joints locking and spasming also, and uh, just the tremors and everything's getting Let's worse. Let's do your jaw opening. And closing, is it opening better now than it used to? No, it's worse. I, I can only open it so far without being in pain. And then in here, if I if I open my mouth wide, um, the in here starts, to, it kind of caves in. Okay. And uh, it, it's painful. I can do it, but it's painful. So I just Okay, the left side's not particularly involved? Um, it, it, it kind of, it pops out. If I open, if you want to, I don't know if you want to. But the pain is on the right side. It's primarily on the right, and I have some in the, in the left side, too. What was the, what were you saying? Yeah, if you focus in, you'll see it popping so out. So what's your definition there? Right side? The right side. It caves in, and then you see underneath. Okay, and then the other side? You see it locking okay. on the On the right side. If I no. Put my head back. I have like this pain that shoots to the top of my head, into my ear, and all down in here. This is the first presentation of this patient in my office. You can see the 
head tremors very obviously. Go ahead and close. Now you can see the leg tremors, particularly her left leg. Go ahead and try walking. Her walking is impaired, but not nearly as much so as the other patients you have seen. When she holds her hand out, her right hand uh, tremors Today more we're than going to her begin left. treatment on this uh, young lady with the insertion of a mandibular orthopedic appliance. This is a pivotal appliance which I have uh, just finished constructing to the vertical dimension that I judge is correct. So I'm going to insert it in her mouth now for the first time. Okay. Okay. Now, notice how the head tremor and the body tremor, hold your hands up, have just ceased, like in front of you where they put in. See, there's no longer any tremor uh, to this patient. Upon the delivery of these appliances, it is smart to do some cranial adjustments, particularly if the patient has a history of compression of her cranial bones. In this specific case, the extraction of a maxillary right first molar. These symptoms began immediately thereafter. This patient has been to 45 physicians and 15 dentists looking for a solution for her full body tremors. Upon insertion of this appliance, what I usually do is the following cranial manipulations. Open. One is I put my fingers on the lingual surfaces of the alveolar processes and spread them apart as the patient inhales. Turn your head say, and tell them what's different about it. I can turn my head to the right without my head shaking at all in the mouth of pain that I normally get in the base of my skull. Okay, and to the left too, same thing? Same thing to the right and the left. Yeah. No pain at all, no shaking. Okay. It's great. Uh, hold the hands out like you did before and, and just uh, tell them how long the tremor took to go away. After the points, it's given to me, the tremors stopped within a few minutes. It's progress. Okay. Good.